to get the Doom Kicker on Indiegogo now for a limited time, with exciting perks like exclusive prints and a special Mike S. Miller cover. Back now only on Indiegogo. As you are enjoying the content here on the Jerkmonger Show, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and please share. Thanks. What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome one. Welcome all to the Jerkmonger Show coming at you live from Tampa, Florida. I am your host, the Jerkmonger, uh, in my studio, Jerkmonger Studios. What's up, everybody? Uh, we got eight people watching. I want to say hi to Andrew J. Rodwell Stevens. Slacker, hi. Thanks for coming on, guys. I appreciate you guys so much, so much. All right. Uh, what I want to do tonight is uh i want to do a little drawing I'm, i i think there's a drawn and quartered i think tonight sometime i gotta check my messages I'm not sure i haven't received any responses yet from the normal the normal folk so i'm gonna go ahead and uh keep that uh to a minimum hey uh cameron thomas is here what's going on brother how you doing all right, so I'm going to make this quick. Uh, what I want to do is just kind of, I'm taking a quick break. I need to kind of like create some artwork to uh, make some extra cash, take care of some stuff I need to take care of. So I'm going to just start doing some of it here. Hopefully I'll create it and um, it'll, well, I renamed the title for those of you who saw it. I, I saw your comment, Andrew J, about the, 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 Val, the, the, the Groundhog Day. I changed it. Valkyries and Angels. I got you. I got you. What's going on, Farmer Dan? How are you? Uh, Amar, how are you? What's going on, you guys? All right. So uh, since this is a draw stream, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing. Uh, so make the best use of my time. Try to keep this to around 30 minutes, maybe. Probably not. Probably not. At least I can plan the, the artwork while we do this here. Can you sing a little? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I can't be for sure. What I can be is entertaining. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to switch my camera over to uh, to this here. Let me see if this works. This is not the one. This is the camera I want to use, but I want to use a bigger screen. So I'm going to switch over to BAM. All right. All right. So this is going to be a can you guys hear me? OK, everybody can hear me. OK. All right. I'm just making sure. This is going to be uh, one of my Valkyries and Angels. Um, as you guys know, I have a, a series that I was working on prior to the holidays. Um, thank you, cult, cult Film Video. I appreciate that. Uh, and uh, the audio is smooth. Thank you, Andrew J. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I was working on a, on a project. I didn't. I didn't think it was the right time to launch it for a variety of reasons. Uh, part of it, much of it, was due to, um, you know, just timing, and I uh, wasn't sure I was going to be able to work on that and work on the Doom Kicker book. So, what I'd like to do is just. I but I'm. I need to kind of drum it up, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and uh, just work on one here, start one at least, and then try to like. Maybe the next stream I can finish it and try to just, like I said, then we'll do maybe an auction sometime. I don't know if I can, if, if really an auction is a safe thing to do. To be honest, it's probably not a safe thing to do. But what I'll do tonight is I'm going to do like a little, uh, a little, uh, like a, like a, just a warm up to Valkyries and Angels. Valkyries and Angels is supposed to be a, a, um, it's supposed to be a, a study, a, wom a woman study, a female study, if you will art study, uh, trying to get a handle on things um, that make sense uh, from a perspective of the female form, get a handle on how to draw the female face, which, believe it or not, is can be elusive, can be elusive. Uh, it's not something I always draw. So now that I'm doing a lot more of it, you know, I try to, I try to include it in most of my work. I hope you guys can still hear me okay. Let me just let me adjust my, my microphone a bit. So it's right in my face. So uh, I often start with the same kind of head. Now I'm I'm kind of inspired because I watched the video by uh, Stan Propenko here on YouTube uh, interviewing Karl Kapinski. Karl Kapinski is one of my favorite artists on Instagram. He's a dynamite uh, uh, 
concept artist and has done a lot of stuff. So what I'm trying to do now is I want to incorporate some of what I learned. I don't want to always rely on the, I know I talked about yesterday, uh, ideas of the construction of the figure, the form. I want to try to move away from that necessarily um, and kind of get a, get a, a, like I said, a better handle on, on maybe just kind of straight to drawing, straight to just drawing and, and then kind of exploring the form with line instead of trying to to construct it and lock myself in. That's something I'm trying to avoid. A farmer does is I practice a lot of female form and features because it's a, it isn't as natural for me to draw. I agree, farmer. That's same with me. Amar says, are those custom jerk badges on the left? These are these are some stickers that that uh, Andy and I uh, have available for purchase. Um, we are trying to set up a store on Etsy. We're shifting out of the website and moving into like an Etsy store where we might be selling some of our our merchandise and such. So if you're interested, you can contact us. Um, you can contact uh, Andy at thelabcomics at gmail.com. This is Andy's logo right there. He's my art, our, my art rep and business partner. So we do a lot of stuff together, together. Andrew, said, Andrew J says, I want them. Yeah, man, they're not that expensive. I think we uh, you know, have to pay for shipping, but they're a couple of bucks each. You know, this is the uh, merman. A werewolf, a little zombie. I got a couple more there. I got a Frankenstein. I got a Frank. Want to see Frankenstein? Frankenstein's pretty cool. Let me see here. Here's Frankie. I call him Frankie. He's pretty cool. And uh, here's Dracky. He's pretty fun. And I also did a mummy to boot. Boom! Oh, you missed it. Boom! Shakalaka. All right. Uh, Farmer Dan says, I watched that Carl Kopinski video. The uh, stuff he had to say was really helpful to me thinking about design. Yeah, it was really good. Brian Double says, hi and good evening. I just saw another Artie's to Velcro patches. I thought that was a cool idea. Another Artie's to Velcro patches. I don't know what that means. Uh, Amar says, Kopinski has an old school vibe to his style. I, I don't know about that. I just like the way he draws. I don't know. I don't, I don't need to categorize him necessarily. I just like it. I just like it. So the way that I like the way he approaches kind of like a loose thing, like he, he works like this, like he holds the pencil old school. Um, and cause he's really trying to, you know, just keep it loose. And I, and I, I, I can afford that as well in my, in my work. I, I, I like the look of the loose style. I try to incorporate it as much as possible. Um, but this is actually just more comfortable for me. I feel like I'm going to break my hand doing it the other way. Also, you know, I don't draw. He he's a lefty. I noticed that he was a lefty, so I was like, oh, he's not he, he's not interrupting himself or his space. So I'm like, huh, huh, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? You know. Sometimes when I draw like this, though, and I try to draw a little bit looser without the construction, I find that my figure or my faces on my characters tend to be a little more, a little more kind of like, yeah, you know, they're a little more like, oh, I'm kind of dopey. A little dopey, but uh, also I feel like I'm drawing, giving her like a bu a button nose here so far. I want to push her eye back a little bit more. She needs a little bit more room, a little bit. Um, um, a second here. Oh, I got a message from someone. Uh, let's see, yes, sir. All right, so, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna sharpen her nose up a little bit more since I want it to feel a little more European. Maybe those lips a little too bold. I don't know, we gotta figure this out. Uh, Suku, Su Super Duper says, I'm a lefty and it makes sense. Well, you know, I'm not sure if that really makes sense. I'm not sure if that what that means. I mean, I, I, I mean, it's just the way he holds, he holds it like this. So he's always, ah, I feel like he's seeing the image. I'm gonna try to draw my left hand. I can't draw with my left hand. Oh, so weird, so weird. I'll go back to my right, my right hand. Um, what I really kind of want to do is I, I so Valk, like I said, Valkyries and Angels was a, was is a an excuse for a, a, a women's form study. But what I'm also trying to do, uh, female form study. But I'm, what I'm also trying to do is give each of them a kind of a story, uh, kind of like what Kopinski was talking about, where it's not just a cool drawing and a cool pose. 
but it actually has some kind of narrative and, it, and that could be in the costume that could be in the layout that could be the way i kind of work stuff out but um uh but the reality is it's more about to you know giving the giving it a little bit of a flavor a, 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 a an ex like, i don't want to say excuse that's not probably not the best best way to say it but a reason to exist right um so so it's not just a, a I mean, I can fill a book up with a bunch of sketches and loose drawings. That's not a problem. But what I, I don't want to just do that, though. I'm going to adjust my cameras. Uh, I think I have my, too much contrast. I know, you know, I know contrast. That might be that might be helpful. I have a lot of shadows coming from my equipment. I'm going to try to find a better way to light my space so that it can be, you know, it can work over my art versus using art from the sides or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see here. And, uh, Jim O'Reilly, how you doing? What's going on? What's going on? And I really want to avoid doing other characters when it comes to these type of art books. I want to I want to spend a little energy in producing something that makes sense from my perspective, not just me drawing somebody else's work. And that's something I've been that was a conscious decision I made a while back to, you know, to to draw my I mean, I could draw a an Amazon, for example. She would fit nicely. Again, in the concept of Valkyries and Angels, your Valkyries are your warrioresses. Uh, and then your angels would be like mystic or magic users. Uh, I have a couple there that I've done that I'm hoping to, to sell. Like I did a, I did this one. I don't think it sold. I'm very sure it did not sell. Um, hold on a second. Let me grab this. Da, da, da. This one here. I thought this was pretty cool. I kind of went with like more of like a, like an Asian concept here. But it's not about the, I'm not trying to make anything specifically the way you would know it in our world. It's mostly just trying to give it a, a sense of history. So, you know, you see things like the, the costuming has stuff, braided stuff, and whatever it is, you know. So that sort of thing. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I hope, I hope as I move along and I'm trying I'm also trying something else I'm also trying to avoid avoid extra lines that I don't need to have in the drawing like I, I, I had this little line here maybe I don't even need this edge of the nose you know that stuff like that that I can incorporate it more in my work I, I the more I see other people do it the more I feel like you know yeah it makes a lot of sense that makes a lot of sense to, and it speeds up the process a little bit or at least keeps me controlling the overall work you know Cosmeti says, gorgeous drawing. Have not seen that one before. Oh, 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 Cosmeti. How are you? It's good to hear from you again. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. All of you, thanks for coming. I really appreciate the uh, the time you guys give to me when I'm on here. Um, I like the way people talk about this kind of stuff. When they talk about it in terms of like mark making. I love that idea. The, the notion that this is not, you know, sometimes I kind of... I'm in the I'm in this this the throes of the of the drawing and I'm thinking to myself that this is almost like I have to make it look real or whatever. A lot of it's not about that. It's about making marks, and the marks together create the illusion of of space. Alan Walker for a dollar ninety nine. Thank you so much and no message. Thank you. I appreciate that. You could have uh, you could have you could have used that that time, that expense to say something. I appreciate you, Alan. Thank you very much. Uh, Kuzmeti says, I love my angel drawing. She needs a friend. Oh, ho, ho, Kuzmeti, what's up? You let me know. Maybe we can auction it. I don't know. I don't know. I hate to do that. This is Christmas time. Everybody's busy and spending money. I I don't want to. I don't want to put no pressure on y'all. I appreciate it, though. But if you guys are interested, you let me know. You can always let me know, Kuzmeti. See, like that. Like that, that. Those are already too many lines. All right? I want to avoid that, too. Brian Doble says, I'm sorry. Did I miss you say you are doing a sketchbook? Yeah, I'll be having. A, I started to to prepare it for it over the last couple of months of the, of the year, let, this past year. But uh, uh, Hexter, as I just came back from Five Below, and that art book is stacked deep. Yeah, man, I think it's like a specific 
to them. I think they they have the five below. The blue cover is the blue store. Cover. Anyway, uh, so yeah, it's gonna be an art book. It's gonna be it's gonna feature many female characters that are all unique to, from my imagination. Um, I'm hoping that this will be the first book I can launch. Um, it might not be, but I, it might be the first book I launch uh, after I I, I um, ship Doom Kicker, and hopefully this will help cover some of the bills throughout the year. We'll see. We'll see. I've got I've got some concerns about the future. I'm gonna try to find ways solutions. Like I talk to my son about these things now. You know, there's always gonna be challenges. The trick is not the challenge. The trick is the solution. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna approach things? How are we gonna fix some of these things? So. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right. So so far, pretty cool. I like I like her face, but I don't want to stop there. Let's give her let's give her some kind of reason, right? So is she gonna stay bald? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep her bald? I don't like bald. I don't. I mean, I don't mind baldness in women, but you know, Aaron Benton, what's going on, man? How you doing, man? Uh, Andrew says, uh, "Cause man, doing all right, traveling for work. Hope you're doing well." Oh my goodness. I used to travel. Well, I still travel for work, I guess. Let's give her a little bit of <clears throat> a little, a little like a, a eye shadow. Let's give her some of that. All right. So I'm also going to accentuate a little bit of the cheekbone to make her just a little more mature. Uh, let's see. Even Mr. Monger says, Hiroshi, hey, what's going on? Hiroshi, how are you? Uh, Amar says, do or do not. There is no try. Oh, all right. How about this? How about I keep the hair close to her scalp. Give her like almost like a, like a this sounds like my grandmother's hair. The legend in my family goes that I'm a uh, descendant of Taino Indians um, in the Caribbean in Puerto Rico. And my grandmother, I, would, I tend to believe it, because she looked like, she looked definitely looked native, and uh, she was beautiful. Um, my other grandmother, she just looked European <laughs> on my mother's side, but my father's mother, she definitely had that look. And the suspicion is, you know, he said that he his grandmother, his 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 mother, his grandmother was Taino. And I, I don't I don't doubt him, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Brian Douglas says, I love the high cheekbones. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. I like it. I like it when you love what I draw. Ooh. 42, 432 Hex says, me too. Oh, yeah. I'm actually thinking about doing one of those uh, one of those DNA tests. And I, I can't do it right now. But when the time comes, I'm going to try to look into doing a test and trying to you know, to see further what kind of story there is be further along with my, with my family. All right, so here we are. Here we are. This is a little. This is a little something going on now. We're cooking with grease. We're cooking with grease now. She's a little, a little well endowed, but you know, I have a tough time with that. I don't mean to be. I hope it's not offensive to anyone. It's just you know, I. I guess I could try to shorten it up. I I I, I can't use that as an excuse. Uh, legend has it uh, I'm immortal, or is that my my name me I don't I don't know I don't know what to tell you about that <laughs> um, for, Hex says my dad was born at a house that is right next to the Indian Park in Ponce and my grandfather was the European oh yeah I I um my father my father's family is definitely very where's my brush oh no I do this I hate doing this <sighs> my father's family is definitely uh, that has more of that my mom was I don't know my mom they supposedly now I hear that I also have some German in me um, that was another thing I had discovered as well so I mean I don't know what to say about that you know I prefer to say she's blessed says Andrew J <laughs> yeah I, from the camera angle I think it still looks like she's still blessed so I'm gonna just when I need that I can okay uh, da, 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 da. I also like what what Kopinski was doing where he was just kind of instead of drawing all these 
like he he really trusted his knowledge uh his at least his 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 stored memory of of the things that he was drawing and i that's something i want to try to do as well is keep some of this moving you know keep it moving cooking and and not falling apart when like oh man i gotta draw all these like ribs and stuff like that uh i miss black and red i won't miss the next one oh alan i appreciate you hey uh by the way speaking of black and red that is going to be the digital book I'm going to give out to the first 100 people. I don't quite have 100 people, but I'm going to start sending out an email soon. To all of you who signed up for my newsletter, you will be getting a digital copy of Black and Red. I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, I know for some of you, uh, some of you may have already purchased it, and, I, and God bless you. Thank you. Uh, for those of you who maybe missed out on that, at least there will be a digital copy um, that I'll offer as well. So uh, that's for the first 100 people that sign up for my newsletter. Um, and by the way, that was Alan Walker with $1.99. I appreciate you, Alan. Um, how do we sign up, says Farmer Dan? Well, you can go over to uh, jerkmailinglist at gmail.com and just say, hey, I want to be I want to be on the mailing list and I will I will include you. I will include you uh, there. All right, so. Am I going to put her in some water? Is that what I'm going to do? Is she going to be a, wa a water nymph? I don't know. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Jerk mailing list at gmail.com. Thank you, Jim O'Reilly. I appreciate you. Andrew J did the same thing. I appreciate all you guys. Slacker hides the same way. I appreciate you. I think I signed up a while back, says Hiroshi. That'll be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Yeah, like I said, I appreciate all of you for putting the time in there. Um, to kind of, to, to just to join me on that. I, I, I've been busy and confused. <laughs> uh, I get to visit my doctor tomorrow and, and we're going to have that longer conversation about uh, medications that I can use to help me. Um, I know some of you have, said, have, have mentioned in the past, and I think Lightning, Lightning fans said this one time, you know, everybody has to deal with things like that. But I really want to fix this problem. It, it turns out I, you know, I've been struggling with ADD for a long, long time, and it's pretty severe. I, I actually was diagnosed for it as a severe case, but I just never dealt with it. And it's it's something I've been wrestling with all my life, you know, um, just challenged and stuff with trying to keep steady and and focused. And uh, because of that, I, I struggle a lot with depression. Um, you know, I don't like to talk about it like that because I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just saying that that's the reality of some of the stuff we deal with, you know, and and uh, I don't want to I don't want to let that keep me from from being successful. So I'm making some moves and I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I experimented with and I shouldn't have, but I experimented with someone else's meds and it worked out really, really, really well. So. You know, we'll see. We'll see. And I'm, I'm hoping that that will resolve some of my personal issues. I mean, for like 20 years, man, I, I was terrible with emails. I'm still terrible with emails, but I find myself, I do better when I have that, that stimulant. And it's, uh, we'll see. We'll see what my doctor says. I was already diagnosed. She diagnosed me already, but I, you know, I don't, she's going to wonder, why didn't you use the medicine all along? I'm like, because I didn't want to, because I was scared. Cause I was scared that I thought I was going to be like a drug addict or something, but no, it's it's not that. It's about just trying something that's going to help, you know. No, it's not about popping pills for that. That's not what I'm struggling with. It's 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 ADD, it's attention deficit disorder, um, and it's just something I've been struggling with as far as like all my life is like not it sounds like I'm like I'm talking about something heavy it's I was really not good at a lot of my my job functions and I'm like man I, I didn't realize how 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 much that stuff can help so if, it, if it's not for you don't worry about it um, this is not this is not up for a debate or discussion in that regard but uh, I appreciate um, appreciate you if you know what I'm talking about so all right All right. Dun, 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 Yeah, I've I've had it all my life. I've had it all my life. And um something I need, I've been needed to address for a long time. 
All right, so I'm gonna give her some sort of like some sort of top, maybe. Maybe she's got like some kind of undergarment. I don't know. But this might change as I move along. Um, dun 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 dun. Farmer Dan says I got sprayed in the face with pepper spray yesterday, dude. That's terrible. Um, um, uh, da -da 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 -da. And uh, Aaron says I struggle at work and school too. Yeah, man, it's it's a it's a funky thing, man. I uh, I never really gave it serious consideration, and then all of a sudden I tried it, and it was like like the waters parted. And it wasn't like uh, it wasn't something I was consciously trying to you know. I wasn't just looking for something. I was like, I, I didn't think it was going to help. I think the dosage I first tried was too low. So now, uh, you know, had to do it for work. It was a terrible experience. What? Farmer Dan, what kind of job do you have? <laughs> Are you in insecurity or something? That's funny. All right. So my girl here right now, she doesn't have a lot of a, a, lot, a lot of story. What, let's give her a story together. Now remember, the topics I'm looking for are either angels, which are magic users, or or warrioresses, which are my Valkyries, right? So if you're a warrioress, you might have like scars, maybe you got something else, police, military. Um, but now maybe I can, you know, uh, but maybe she's got something else, you know, maybe, maybe she's the lady of the lake. Ooh, ooh. I want to give this bottom part of her outfit like some kind of texture. I'm going to maybe make it. She, she's a magical pixie, says, says Amar. Deputy Sheriff. Deputy Sheriff, Farmer Dan. Holy moly, man. I didn't know that. I appreciate you, man. Thanks uh, Thanks for serving your community, man. Oh, there's my wife talking. She's yelling at all the kids. Like, yeah, here we go. This is another reason why I stopped doing so, a lot of these uh, streams because my family's loud as hell. All right, Justin McClure. Oh, what's up, Justin? Comes in with a, oh, baby. Mm -hmm. John Malin, contortionist. <laughs> She's a contortionist? <laughs> What's going on, John? I, 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 got, I got word that you shared my, uh, my, my show yesterday. Um, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. And give it some scales. Maybe it's like magical. Remember, remember the stuff that, uh, that Bilbo had? That weird, was it? Some kind of mist, some kind of elven art fabric that was like armor or something. All right, hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back. Give me one moment. I just need to talk to some people here. So they're, going, they're driving me crazy. All right, all right, all right. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <sighs> Sorry about that. I have to take care of some business. The fancy Elven chainmail says says Hector. That was interesting. I like that. Uh, let's see. Slacker says a lady of the lake should be bottomless. I, 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 I. Hold on, Slacker. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, let's see. Hiroshi says at a family Christmas party the other night, the Little Mermaid was on TV, and my cousin's grandson was arguing that the king dad was Aquaman. <laughs> hey, Darcy Cisco, how you doing, man? All right. Uh, that makes it better. The whole family in your office arguing. Spice it up. No. No, Reed. That's not what we do. 
That's what Bilbo gave Frodo. Yeah, he gave it to Frodo, but Frodo, but Bilbo got it from, uh, was it Galadriel, I think? I don't remember. All right, so. All right, so that's kind of cool. We got that kind of look going on. And uh, let's see, so what if, let's, let's tie her hair back here and put in some sort of like, some sort of like bun or something like that. Hey, Roscoe, how are you, man? Mithril, that's what it was, Mithril. Awful, Dreadneck Gaming. Hello, hello, it's the Jerkmonger. Shoo! That's what's up, man. That's what's up. She can be a hell spawn. She could be a hell spawn. What if we make this beautiful thing? Uh, let's turn her evil. Let's turn her evil. She looks young. She looks. But what if she's? Uh, what if she's one of the bad ones? She's looking to the side now. Now she's looking to the side. Now she's looking scary. Doing good, your manga. Thanks. Right on, man. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you. Back from church and feeling good. Thank you, awful. I appreciate you, brother. Reed says, uh, does your drawing think she is better than me? Oh, I think she does. I think she does. So how about we, we raise one of these eyebrows to make her look more like, ha ha, I am better than you. <laughs> I know, because I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> you know whatever oh are the hero mr miller what's going on homie and she's gonna be just is she smirking see if you give her the smirk then it looks like she's got this goofy face right oh, let's do a little little smirk there so if we give it a little smirk and then what what else does she have what makes her the wicked kind it makes her the wicked kind. Does she have? Does she have horns? That's obvious, right? The horns are always obvious. The horns, horns are always obvious. Let's give her something else. What if she's got? Well, well, let's see. Maybe I'm gonna shade her face a little bit here. She's got the evil Mithril. Hey, Monger, you do, so do you still work on the iPad Pro? If so, when you get the time, can you show us uh, I'm, uh, one of your drawings? Uh, I have it put away right now, but I'll come back to that a little bit later. If you don't mind, Starlight, maybe on a different show. I'll let you guys see it. Uh, she should be like a dryad or something. What's a dryad? That sounds interesting. Um, what if... What if, well... What's a dryad? Is that what? Is that what? Uh, is that from um, Game of Thrones? She should be like. Uh, let's see. Elliot is a master of digital and traditional. <laughs> Thank you, awful. I appreciate you, man. Um, I don't know about my master at it. There's still a lot I'm learning about that program. It, it, I've, I'm a lot faster. Damn. Sometimes it's just tricky. It's just just tricky. It's not as intuitive. Well, that's not fair. I, I've been using Photoshop for a long time, so that's why. But <sighs> all right, what if I gave her, what if I gave her some wings? Right? It's like a, it's, it's like, it's a like woodland nymph has to do with trees and stuff. The farmer, you need to work on this on those tapping skills. Uh, even masters never stop learning. That's true. That's true. All right, how about we give her some sort of. Let's start with some tattoos. Are those too obvious? Are those cliche now? Tattoos? Are that cliche? I don't know. A tree nymph? Greek mythology? Okay, okay. A tree nymph. What makes it a tree nymph? What makes her tree nymph? She kind of looks like a... She's kind of got the proportions of like a Michelle Pfeiffer, doesn't she? Does anybody remember who Michelle Pfeiffer is? I think this crowd does. Uh, tradigital. <laughs> when you can do both. There you go, Reed. I'm a tradigital artist. Tradigital. It's hard to say. Amar says, Procreate has updated their animation in version 5, so I will be doing something with that next year. I still hate that program, man. That thing sucks. Golly, that sucks. Sorry to be so bold. So, who's going to see Star Wars? It turns out I might be seeing Star Wars this Friday. 
so far, someone bought me a ticket to go with them, and I'm, I really don't want to go. Oh, I really don't want to go. Gee whiz. But, but we'll see. We'll see. I like this drawing so far. She looks really cool. No, me, not happen. You mean not me, Justin? Justin, you too. Hard pass on Star Wars. All of you guys can't type. I don't know what's going on with you guys tonight. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Seba stripes down the arm. Uh, damn, Jim, that's a good idea. Dryads are not evil, though, says Cosmetti. And, you know, you're right, Cosmetti. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, I like the idea of this, some sort of like. Some kind of markings. This says something in some some other language, maybe. But maybe she needs something that kind of kind of comes across here. It may have been something on her back. Does that look weird? Does that look stupid? I think it kind of looks stupid. So I always have a billion dollar movie, so I'm sure it will be a watchable. It will be watchable, but I can't get into them anymore. I do. I am not interested in Star Wars, to be honest. I have zero desire for it. Uh, my 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 one of my best friends. He 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 really loves it, and he's he's like, look, you coming with me? And I, I don't care what you say. I'm like, all right, you know. So well, now we're gonna do it, and I kind of I kind of wish I had to like wash my hair or something, you know, like that old excuse for not going on a date. I don't know. Um, but at least I'll be able to speak from a place of intelligence. You know, I, I didn't see, I still never saw, um, end game and, but I don't care. So it's okay. And I don't have anything bad to say about it. I just don't care about it. You know? Um, all right. So what, a, what, a, what am I doing here? Let's give her some other things then. Let's give her some kind of some, let's give her some gauntlet stuff that only someone of her type would use. I mean, I guess if we go with the dryad thing, but maybe she's not a dryad. Maybe she's a. Uh, ooh, what if she's not any of these things? What if she's a. Uh, what if she's. <gasps> what if she's a young Hera? <gasps> oh my gosh. Farmer Dan says, not caring about things is a useful skill. <laughs> I stopped caring about movies a lot, a lot this year. Says Hiroshi Paradox. Yeah, I, I, I am with you, man. I have to. Um, I, I don't go very often at all anymore, and uh, I f I'm looking now for like classic ones. I'm, I'm finding movies that I, you know, I never saw before. I want to see these other ones now, and and really kind of, you know, uh, I'm, I'm pressing my pencil on, so I'm thinking of pressing. I want to press into. Stuff that's, uh, I almost double tap for for undoing. Endgame stunk says Justin Ward. Infinity War was much better. I didn't like that. I didn't like that one that much anymore either. Kind of kind of over all that stuff. I think I've outgrown all of it now. I think I'm, I'm and it's hard. It's easier now because I'm kind of away from so much, and the debate doesn't mean as much to me as it used to. So I, I you know, I'm not I'm not seeing the necessity for it anymore. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't a really big fan of Star Wars after all. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe that's my problem. Um, but I, I, it's boring. All of it's boring. And, and you could tell, based on what I'm hearing, you could tell they're just trying to make up. Uh, I heard a, a review by, uh, what's his name? Johns, J-A-H-N-S, Jans, Johns. He's like, yeah, it would, and he was he was really hard on it, man. He was, he was trying to, he wasn't being ugly about it. He just was hard. He's like, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Alan Walker says kind of getting burned out on the Marvel and Star Wars movies. Yeah, maybe I am too. A man in lunacy says, I think that the reason a lot of the trade trad nerds are so rabid, uh, all our, of our nerdy escapes have been ruined for us. Ah, maybe, maybe. Amar says, uh, jerk is having a Phil Collins moment. Slick Rick, what's up? The only Star Wars movie that counts is Ewoks: The Battle for Endor. <laughs> Y'all know I'm right. No, uh, Justin says if they made good ones, you wouldn't be burned out. Alan Walker, uh, possibly, possibly, but you know, and and I don't know, I don't know. Maybe maybe you're right there. 
Justin, maybe you're right. Maybe if I, but I, I don't think there's anything wrong necessarily with these like Marvel movies. I just don't care about them anymore. They don't mean anything to me. Um, so I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not enamored by it nowadays. All right, I'm giving her some kind of stones in her head. Farmer Dan says, it's possible to get tired of a good thing. I don't know if it's possible. I mean, I like eating good food all the time. Two or three movies a year is too much, in my honest opinion, says Farmer Dan. I don't know. That's a tricky one, too, because I, I feel like uh, I, I, I like a lot of, I don't know. I saw a couple of good ones. I did see um, The Lighthouse, which was fabulous. 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 I did enjoy that. That was a very interesting, odd movie, but very interesting. Um, what else? Um, I don't know. I bought a bunch of uh, items for like around Halloween. I got uh, Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein, the classic ones. Those are pretty cool. Um, there was a good sale lately. Uh, Justin McClure... Justin, I'm surprised that you're coming here. Frozen 2 was dope. Took the five-year-old, lol. Really? Huh. Justin War says, uh, Drew Monger, something you might appreciate in the TV world, Kevin Smith is producing a hand-drawn 2D animation series of He-Man. We'll see. We'll see, Justin. I don't trust. I just don't trust Kevin Smith. He's an, he's an oddball. He likes to be... He's, he's happy to be part of the crowd that likes to destroy everything I love. So, <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right. So, let's see. Uh, I, don't, I didn't give her a neckline, actually. So, I should probably do that. And maybe, maybe this neck goes that way. Okay. All right. So, I'm not sure. This woman is a magic user. Uh, shouldn't she have some other kinds of stuff? What if she had, uh, let's see, Mike says, we spent 30 years, 30 years of our lives waiting for comics to be done right in the movies. We got a decade's worth of nonstop and the bubble just burst with Infinity War. You know, brother, I think you're right, man. I think you're right. Amanda Lunis says, once upon a time in Hollywood was great. I didn't see that. Alan Walker says, Maverick looks good. Ah, uh, you know, I want it to be good. I want it to be good. I hope so, but I'm afraid of that one too. I agree with you, Mike. I, I, I feel like the, the, I just feel disappointed overall, but I don't want to just be like, oh, I'm just that guy. Cause I, I don't like it. Or it's not, it's not just that it's, it's, yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's the narrative has shifted and, and we're, we're contending with goofy stuff. I, I think that's what you're trying to say. Contending with goofy stuff and, and. You know, the quality, I don't know if it's a quality thing. I don't know. If, if you were from that side of the fence, would you be fine with that? Would that be good enough? I'm hearing weird things, though. A lot of people are disliking this latest Star Wars installment. And I can't, I can't say that I disagree with them or that I don't understand. I, I, I think I do. I think I do. So, uh, you know, um, I, it sounds like the, it sounds like the critics are, are getting, uh, getting upset because they are being abandoned by Disney, but I think it's too late. I will say this. I had this conversation a while back with some of my, my friend, the one that's taking me to see the movie. And I told him a long time ago, my biggest concern with this, this movie is that they, they, they really killed the dog in this one and they, they're trying to make up for it now. And the problem is they wasted a whole trilogy. Do you understand what that means? Like you, they wasted a whole trilogy because of the disjointedness in the storytelling. A complete trilogy is in the trash can. Disney spent four billion dollars for this franchise, and that their their premium product, which is those movies, is garbage. And it's not garbage because it's not a good quality, it's garbage because it's not performing. And because it doesn't perform, you know, it, it, it's the illusion is, oh, well, it's because you guys didn't like it. You guys, I'm sorry, man. I was talking to my son today about, you know, 
regardless of how this culture swings, whatever happens, uh, whether it's just a cultural thing or the election or whatever, I don't, because I genuinely, I'm not that, you know, don't care much for, for our president today, but not for the reasons that you might think. Um, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever happens, whatever turn we take, the performance is going to always be appreciated at any level whether it's you bringing coffee to somebody because you like them or whatever how you do that will be admired or not and i'm just like it doesn't matter you 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 can have a bunch of commie jobs and everybody can be all like ah at the end of the day it people are going to still appreciate that you did a good work so i don't know sonic studios shut down yeah but were they supposed to stay open, though? Those studios don't stay open. A man in Lucy says, A beautiful day in the neighborhood was a breath of fresh air. We all need more Tom Hanks wholesomeness in our lives. You know, I need to watch that. That's something I would like to see. Justin McClure says, Movie is done. Of course it did. LOL. I don't know what that means, Justin, but, you know, enlighten me. Um, oh, I'll take my five-year-old to see Sonic. She will love the hell out of it, says Justin McClure. Gotcha, gotcha. Movie's done. Yeah, so... So yeah, a lot of studios shut down after the film is complete. I mean, were they supposed to stay open? I, I, I'm a little confused. I, I remember that news too. I, I just didn't understand what what the big deal was. All right, so my girl here it looks nice. She's very pretty, but I still feel like she needs something. Slick Rick says, don't tell me Elliot doesn't like Trump because he envies his hair. Don't tell me that. You got me, Slick. You got me. I'm missing a bunch of hair. Justin Moore says, Ah, Elliot is a democratic pro impeachment. Get him. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, I'm actually a libertarian. Farmer Dan says, I hate when Tom Hanks plays real people. I just see Tom Hanks. I I love him. He's one of my favorite people. I, I hate when he plays other weird roles that I'm like, no way. He's not a spy, whatever. All right. So my girl here has got some stuff. Um, I wonder if maybe... I don't know. All right. I think I have enough here to ink. What do you guys think? Give her some rubies on her lips. On her lips? Rubies? You know what? Doug would appreciate if I give her fuller lips on the bottom. He always gives me a hard time about the way I draw lips. He says I draw them like porn stars. That's weird. That is better, though. That does look nice. This chick needs a bow. A bow, Justin? You think so? Hips. 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 She's got hips. She's looking at her from the side. Hector, how can you? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? A necklace. Ooh, a necklace. What kind of necklace, Mike? What kind of necklace? Oh, oh. Something happened. Something happened on my end. I don't know what that was. Embedded in her hips. Oh, 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 oh. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Well, what? What are we going to put in her hips? Bo? <laughs> the sequential rationalist. How you doing? She needs some kind of headgear or tiara. Well, she's got this, these crystals kind of like on her head here. Or just bad acne. I can't tell for sure. A gem? An archer's bow or a silly hair bow? All right. Let's first, let's give her, let's give her a gem. Let's give her some. Let's try that. I don't know. Let's see if this works. Maybe it's something that connects to her outfit this way. I don't know. Maybe. It's kind of cool. What if we do this? What if we give her something that kind of hangs here? I'm always impressed at jewelry. Uh, when I see them, I always... I, I didn't care before whenever my wife would go to a store. Now I kind of look at what's going on there so I can kind of get an idea. Rubies in her hips is stupid. Don't s stop saying that. <laughs> Follow that sequence from her hair, says Hector. Uh, Archer bow. Well, let's see what we can do. You think the bow's on her back? You know, I was talking about Kevin Smith. I, I did enjoy that show he used to, he used to have on there, um, that uh, comic book man. I, I loved that show. The guy with the beer was hilarious. Ruby's in her hips is stupid. Uh, Justin Ward says, ha, 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 ha. Cameron Thomas says, stupid is as stupid does. Another Tom Hanks reference. There you go. All right, so the necklace, 
Well, let's just make this one big stone then. So it's kind of like a medallion on her head. How about that? And then we'll give her the little tiara crown thingy. And maybe we'll add a little bit to it here. It's kind of Wonder Woman-y. How about Wonder Woman? I'm kind of now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust what I just said. I'm excited for Wonder Woman though. Gotta say, I gotta say, I really am excited about that movie. Um, I didn't think I'd be as excited because I was kind of weirded out by the promotional imagery. I didn't understand what she was wearing. Now that I saw, like, oh, of course, yes. So we're good now, you know. All right. So she's got this cooking. Um, what if uh, does she have like one of those things on her back I am hyped for one woman says Cosmetti Cosmetti you and I we're brother sister I could tell um, Kevin Smith is a good speaker and really funny but I think he has lost his ability to write I don't know about that I just don't like him Alan Walker says mama always says there be days like this Reed Trotman says, put a, ho a house on fire behind <laughs> Uh Jess McClure, Elliot, if you don't draw a weapon, bruh. Hold on, man. I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm going to, I'm trying to think, do I give her the quiver? Does she have a regular quiver? And if she does, does that what she going to have? Or is she going to have like a hand here? By the way, uh, Mike. If you're still in the chat, are, are, is there a drawn in quarter tonight? And if there is, what's the subject tonight? So everybody can know to tune in. Da -da -dun -dun. Give her a chain from her earlobe to her. Now, Justin, what's wrong with you? I'm not going to do that. Mike is a ninja. He's always in the shadows. Star Wars. Oh, Star Wars it is. We'll be talking smack about it the whole time. The whole time. Well, I like this drawing already. I, I love this hand. Is that bad for me to enjoy my own stuff? Can I enjoy my own stuff? I like it. I like when I, I do something well. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Does, does it make me wrong? Does it make me look fat? Does does pride make me look fat? I think it does. This is going to be like a magic bow. Maybe this is like uh, the bow from Dungeons and Dragons. <clears throat> Poor Star Wars should probably be put to rest already. I know. It's true. Justin says I should love myself. And I'm going to go with that. Alan Walker says the same thing. Oops, I didn't mean to block that. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Fat makes you look fat. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. You're a jerk. <laughs> Damn. You cut me. Cut me deep, man. You cut me deep. Damn. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this type of ornamental nonsense. Uh, oh, I have to give it a little stone there. That's kind of fun. And and she's just gonna have her arm pushed back this way, and then um, I went I went out there and told my family to be quiet. <laughs> they thought I was crazy. Like what? What the hell's wrong with that? First world problems, says Justin McClure. Farmer Dad, it ain't pride that makes you look fat. It's gluttony. True. 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 I'm a fatty. I'm a fatty McFatterson. What can I say? What can I say? Sorry, James. It was the SS Minnow. The SS Minnow. We just watched Scrooge earlier this week. Can you believe it's already almost Thursday? So this is going to have like that energy thing, I think. Right? So does she need a quiver? I don't think she needs a quiver. Scrooged, yes, yes, yes. And, um, all right, 
I think they like I like this so far. These little nubbies, little there's a little. I don't know what that is. I've been enjoying another YouTuber named Peter Draws. He does these like weird. Um, yeah, you know, he's got a very he's, he's a he's a kooky dude. And he does pen reviews and such, but when he does drawings, he does like he calls them doodles. And they're just they're just stream of consciousness stuff, you know. This looks good, says Cosmetti. Thank you, thank you so much. What time is it? Nine fifteen. Nine fifteen, Eastern Standard Time. So I uh, I've been enjoying that I don't know how to do it though I gotta be honest I I didn't know I didn't know how to doodle <laughs> that's hard drawing kind of like loose like that it's, it's very interesting very cool all right uh, should I give her that bow maybe maybe it's like a braid it's more like a like a braided breadstick or something Watching the Christmas Carol is a family tradition. Oh, that's a good one, Alan Walker. I want to see. I, I want to establish something like that with my family. We never really did that. We saw the Grinch and all that stuff, but I want to start watching like It's a Wonderful Life. I really want to see that. All right. So it turns out she's not evil. She's just better than us, right? Is she still a wood a wood nymph? I don't know that ma matters anymore. Oh, look at them lips. Look at those labios. CC, hi all, and hello, Jerk Monger. Sorry, I've been awake. Glad to see you doing some Valkyries and Angels wishing you and the family Merry Christmas. Quick question, what pencil are you using? This, my friend, is a Prismacolor Cole Erase. If you would like, I will send you some of these. Uh, this is Tuscan Red. I'll send you some of these when I send you all the, that art I need to ship out to you. It's going to happen sooner than later. Trust me, it's coming. My wife and I watched three different Christmas carols already. Whoa, wow. Wow, wow, you're a fan, fan Farmer Dan. Oh, Jim O'Reilly, one night I'd like to see you your art mess up. You know what those pieces you hate and think are bad? Uh, yeah, most of them are like that. <laughs> uh, Hector says, Peter draws is insane. He will draw with anything that will send him to draw with. I love that guy. I love that guy. I love him. I love him. I've never actually seen, I've actually never seen It's a Wonderful Life. Hiroshi. Come on. Reed says, I was hooked on Peter's videos a couple months ago. Addictive. Yeah, he's great. He's great. I kind of, he's kind of my, my current pattern for, for YouTube, YouTubing, if, if there's such a thing. All right, let's give her oh, some sort of hoop, something so I can give it to her on the other side there. Another hoop. I don't know. She looks pretty good. She looks pretty good. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate it, man. How about I give her a little, little stone there on her, on her, under her lip. Right, that's not bad. And we're gonna put a little tone there by her nose. That's not bad. I like that. CC says thanks, much appreciated. By the way, payday is Friday. Yeah, buddy. What? Oh my goodness. Well, I, we're not. There's no auctions right now, man. Um, except I might do one on my channel, but. You let me know. You know, I got a couple pieces still. I have a couple of angels. And uh, we should talk some more. Because many might like this one too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You guys talk amongst yourselves when it comes to that. Farmer Dan says it makes for good adaptations. Too hard to mess up. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, Justin McClure says I'm in love. Uh, Christmas Carol is a perfectly written story. One of the best in English literature, says Farmer Dan. I agree. I agree. Uh, Jim O'Reilly says, when doing pages, do you put this much attention to each panel, or do you feel, depending on the com on the composition of the page, you make some panels sing more than others? Probably more like that, Jim. It's really more about, like, this is really a commission style. I can't guarantee I can draw like this for anything else. Uh, in fact, I'm always looking for economical ways to draw, especially when I'm, you know, having issues already, drawing that as well as possible. Um, so when it comes to comics, I don't... I don't have the space right now, the, the bandwidth for this type of art all the way through. So for this kind of stuff, if you're interested in this kind of sort of stuff, you can always reach out to me for commissions. But other than that, it's 
it's not going to happen. Let me check this one. This is my Metropolitan. This is actually a really cheap, uh, inexpensive. I should say cheap. How's Doom Kick going? Cameron is going and going rough for me. I'm struggling through some things right now, but I'm working it out. I'm working it out. So I'm going to go ahead and draw with the back side of the pen. Uh, I really have become quite interested in these type of pens, these uh, fountain pens. So we'll see. All right. I've been on for a little over an hour now. Oh, yeah. Christmas is coming. It's commission time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fantastic work as always, Jim Morales says. Keep going. All right. Let's see. All right. So this is a Metropol Pilot Metropolitan, I believe. Is it Pilot? Um, yeah, Pilot Metropolitan. Beautiful tool. Um, not as fancy. I've been looking into other ones. There's a few of them that I'm crazy about, but I know I can't afford. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's tricky because... Some of these pens, I really want to get one that has more flex to see, to use it for other fun stuff. But, um, I don't know. But I like the, I like the, the this particular one is, doesn't have a lot of flex to it at all, obviously. It's a very stiff pen nib. But what I like, I do like about it is that it feels like I'm working with one of the tools that Mike uses, you know? So very similar, very similar. Don't sweat, man. It's going to turn out great. I know, Cameron. I'm I'm very confident of that. Amar says, I feel like I feel you drawing detailed work for comics. I need to be living comfortable in a good year or or two or so or so to sit up and draw Fazetta style comics. I uh, I don't know what that means, but but uh, if you mean that you kind of need that kind of time to do it, I, I maybe some people do it. You know, I, I'm just not me. Just not me. All right, turning the pen over so I can draw a little differently here. I've been uh, keeping, I just started a new um, prayer journal. And I'm using this pen to write on it, and I love it. I love it. This is a very fun tool. Um, there's something fun about finding a new tool, a new drawing, uh, something or other. Um so, you know, it just, there's something really special about it. I, I always like trying something new, but for comics, I've learned that, you know, I have to be very disciplined about what I'm using and why I'm using it. It can't just be for, for fun. It's got to have a very specific purpose. And while this is a very fun look, and I would love to do a comic like this, um, that would be a, that would be a campaign that that did so well that I don't, I don't have to worry about working at other things for a while. All right, so this is fun. All right. I guess I'm going to have to come back to this. All right, I might have to come back and cut some white back in there because I, I may have... The way I drew in that that edge of her jawline makes her look a little masculine. If Mike were talking to me right now, he'd be like, she looks like a dude. I'd back it because you'd kill it, Jim O'Reilly says. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Speaking of movies, I also heard that that movie about the, uh, the Olympic State, Olympic Stadium... Um, case where the guy was accused of being the guy who was trying to help out was accused of being the uh, I was a suspect in that situation that I heard that was really good that poor guy man he all he was trying to do was do what everybody's trying to do just I want just want to do what's right and man they clipped him something fierce she looks like a dude. Just kidding. <laughs> Doing a comic in your favorite style is how you feel most fulfilled. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I like being filled with food, though. I'd rather be filled with food. Fulfilled, 
or filled with food. I'll take food. All right, so this was interesting. This actually worked out really, really well from some of the choices that, you know, you guys helped me make. Um, so I'm now trying to draw this orna ornamental thing on her head. This, these little pieces and shapes make it look like there's uh, interesting facets to whatever stones is encrusted, encrusted over here. Food filled. <laughs> Eat, Smiller. I agree with Mike on that one. You have to love that style. If it feels like it's worked, then it will be. Oh, if this is work, when it's uh, when I'm not, when there's no food, it's work. All right. Um, Okay, I like her. I like her. I like her a lot. I think we're gonna already. This is driving me crazy already. By the way, I have uh, in that pen. I've I use um, platinum carbon ink. So it's not just your normal. It's not your normal. Uh, let me take that out too. It's not your normal. Uh, uh, you call it fountain pen ink I'm also going to do this I'm going to soften up that a bit that way as well I think part of it is I made her chin a little long all right uh, someone say the key to success is finding what you love to do then getting someone else to pay you to do it <laughs> maybe maybe Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and what I want to do is uh, I want to I'm trying to learn how to use my pens more for like a Charlie Brown look. I really love that stuff. I've been experimenting with that here and there whenever I can, I'm trying to figure out what's the key to that kind of loose style. You know what I don't like? I don't like that. You know what it is? I think I know what it is. I'm going to get rid of this, too. This bothers me. There you go. That's way more cuter. That's way more purdy. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple of lines there. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of lines in here. Maybe one like that. You know? You know what I'm saying? Not me. I think the key to success is doing everything to the glory of God. It's a hard task, but it's really motivating. Oh, that's an interesting thing. I mean, I, I I was just talking to my son about that. What what is success? And I think success. Um. I don't know if it's, I don't even know if it's that. I think it's just in uh, moving the moving the goalposts. It's just, I think success is related to the task you're working on. I don't think it's as simple as. Success in general is something a little broader than that. Um, hold on, guys. My wife is killing me. She's asking me about boots. Can you believe this nonsense? What the, what the heck is going on? So this uh, this pen lays down a very nice. Um, it's it's extra fine nib. So if you're looking at something like that, this is a cool pen for that purpose. But you got to be into it. Uh, <clears throat> Success in life is knowing what goals matter. There you go. That's a good one, Mike. I appreciate that. Justin Peterson. Justin, what's going on, man? The key to Charles Schultz pen lines is to have a stroke in the 80s. 
that's why his work in the 80s looks so scratching expressive man that's powerful because i was just I've, I've been looking online like uh scratchy uh what's it scratchy whatever uh ink techniques cartooning techniques you know what i'm fascinated with is the uh, line boil that's what i want i want to do a little of animation and practice some of that I think that'd be fun. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, this drawing with this is not as as satisfying because it's really relying on a on it's really relying on what do you call it? A, a very inflexible line or a pen nib so it doesn't get a lot of character out of it so it's a lot of it's like it feels a lot like you're working with a little more of an expressive micron but it's cool all right another reason why i think she when i inked her face here she got a very she got a real caved in look let me carve that out i love doing it with a pen merry christmas jerk mom thank you dungeon class my brother what's up uh he ended up with a tremor in his hands that's the key to wavy lines just drink an inch of coffee you'll get the same effect drink a bunch of coffee i think you're trying to say justin you are brilliant brilliant mr peterson brilliant there she's a lot more feminine now look at that look at that boom boom all right I'm going to try to finish some of this tonight. What time is it? 9.30? Uh-oh. It's almost time for uh, for Blacklist Universe's Drawn and Quartered. So she's an archer after all, huh? It's kind of cool. With a mystical weapon. I like it. I like it. Mike says he's inking rocks. That sounds like a prison sentence. Instead of crushing rocks here or smashing rocks here or inking rocks. All right. It's, you know, I got a good handle on this pen. I, I enjoy it. I, I'm really loving fountain pens. I wanted to look at, so I got involved in something called a Mont Blanc concept because of, because of, because uh, the ink that I was encouraged, or I don't know if that's the right term, but uh, Doug and, and Mitch use Mont Blanc ink. So then I discovered that Mont Blanc is actually a pen. And then I discovered how expensive those pens are. And I said, oh, we're going to stay away from that. We're staying away from that. Um, so, uh, but there's, but, you know, there's also, and, then, and, and something about fountain pens is almost, to me, it's almost like the discussion about cigars. You almost, it's a very gentlemanly thing to, to use was highly uh, useful back in the, like the 20s and the 30s almost everybody had a fountain pen of some sort uh, that was another one that I looked up recently that I was fascinated by but put it in a, some sort of something or other um, Jim says I have to run thanks for again for sharing your talent but I appreciate that Dungeon Class says, is that a Frankenstein mini monger or Beast Boy? It is a Frankenstein mini monger, along with Creature from the Black Lagoon, Dracula. I got a zombie here. It's fun. It's fun. So the, the fun part of these pens is that they, they all kind of, they're all different. I have a cheap pen. And what I was trying to do on the cheap pen was it's a, something called a... 
Jinhao. It's a Chinese company. And the pen is nice, but the type of feed that it uses, actually, if you if you got the right one, you can actually put onto it a uh, a Gnip pen, which is awesome. And so, uh, yeah, it's it's a powerful tool if you can make it work. But then I started thinking, I don't know, I don't. I'd rather use the pens for what they're intended for. So. This is looking pretty cool. Um, Roshi says, I tried a super cheap fountain pen from Daiso, Japanese dollar store chain, and it is 1,000% garbage. <laughs> well, you know, what are you going to do? They don't all work, but some of them are good. I will tell you, this one is a good one. Metropolitan, extra fine nib, uh, the black one. Uh, uh, you, they have, I think that's a silver one. Um, it's under $20. Or around twenty dollars, I like it a lot. For for someone who's interested in the hobby of collecting fountain pens, this one's a good starter for sure. liking that I'm liking that all right so I'm gonna kind of this thing has a jewel in it let's do that and believe it or not there's still a lot of a lot of this is still a matter of pressure so you can't expect to have everything work well uh, if you're drawing with these pens because um, you're still trying to manage pressure, and I like that. Uh, Fitz Factor, how you doing? It's the I'm in Dubai, the international airport, watching the one and only Jerk Manga brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Don't get in trouble. Don't let them, be careful because I'm uh, I'm wanted in in seven countries. It was so amazing. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I play. I play. So this is cool. Can't get that line to draw. Sometimes you gotta be careful. If I've drawn too much of the pencil there, it'll disrupt the ink flow. That's cool. We'll adjust that in a minute. Actually, I'll make it work with this. I'll combine it with these lines here, and you'll never even know that that was a struggle spot. You'll never even know. Slacker High says she's sleepy. Is she? Or is she just confident that she's got her prey? Uh, 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 uh. Jump back and smack somebody's mama. Merry Christmas, baby. Sure will treat you right. All right, kids, favorite Christmas songs. Hit me with it. What's your favorite Christmas song? One of my favorites, one of my all-time favorites is Stevie Wonder's Sunday at Christmas, It Won't Be Long. Uh, and the other one is... Presents and cards are here. My world is filled with cheer and you. This Christmas, and as I look around, your eyes outshine the town and you. Please come home for Christmas, the Eagles. Oh, oh. the dog barking carols, Slacker High. Are you serious? Fitz Factor, Feliz Navidad. I can't stand Feliz Navidad. That drives me crazy. Feliz Navidad. Oh. It does not stop. Feliz Navidad. Ba, 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 ba. Feliz Navidad. 
Prospero año y felicidad. Am I going to get a strike for singing Christmas songs here? Oh my golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. Malekelikimaka is Hawaii's way. I I messed it up already. Hawaiian Christmas Day. That's the island greeting that they sent to you. From the land where palm trees sway. Something like that. <clears throat> Little drummer boy. Ooh, I heard a great one. Oh my gosh. Um, I got this a Christian singer that I didn't even realize she was a Christian singer because she just has such a quality voice. What is her name? Oh, it's on my, it's on my Amazon music. She did a great, very jazzy. Oh man, it was awesome. It was awesome. Someday at Christmas, it won't be long. The soundtrack to Die Hard in its entirety. <laughs> I just watched that yesterday too. With the with well, I tried to with my son. He fell asleep. I don't know. These kids today, no imagination. Bum ba da da. Lauren Daigle? Is that who it is, Reed? Wait a minute. That might be it. Yes! That's it, Reed. That's it. Oh my gosh, dude. Isn't it great? Let me make sure. I'm very sure that's who it is, though. Let me check my phone. Hold on. Hold on. Let me check my music. Let me check my music. That's why I'm gonna know it. Music Prime. Down, 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 down. Oh, and by the way, for those of you who are fans of the uh, what's her name? Uh, Mariah Carey album, she has a new version of that album. It's uh it's an anniversary edition. And I hate you, Bixby. I hate you. Uh it is fan frackantastic. Hold on, my music. Uh, recently added music. Let's see. Let's see. Am I going to get in trouble for sharing this with you guys? I just want to share it with you just a little bit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. This is it. Oh, yeah. Listen to this. Listen to her voice. Fantastic. Fantastic. I can't share anymore. Fantastic. It was so good. So good. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's great. Wonderful singer. I, I was super impressed. I was like, who is this? And I, I was, I, we heard it on the way back from, from North Carolina, visiting my sister. We were listening to Christmas music on, uh, on XM radio. And Oh man, I was like, what is this? I've never heard this before. Shut up, Mike. Shut up your face. Shut up your face, Michael. <laughs> now, nah, dude, it's great. You gotta hear it. You gotta hear her other stuff. And her her regular Christian album, Mike, it's sick. She's hyper talented. giving this a little more of a special thing yeah damnation she she does christian songs uh but it's it's got a great she's got a great sound it, it kind of reminds me who's the who's the gal that did those that the songs uh queen bee whatever whatever that was that was a that, I, I like that i used to hear it all the time at the mcdonald's every time i go to this mcdonald's they played that same freaking song every flacking Frick, frackin', fricker, rackin' time. But anyway, I digress.
she sounds like her. That's who I thought it was. I was like, oh, she sings that Queen Bee gal sings Christmas songs. I wouldn't expect that. But no, she doesn't. This girl does. Very cool. Amy Winehouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit of Adele. Yeah, I hear a little bit of Adele in there. I, I, in the bigger songs, she sounds like Adele. That's a little quiet song. Farmer Dad says, just, she just took well, just took a shower and my eyes are still singing from leftover pepper spray. <laughs> Homie, that was a mistake. Oh, yeah, because Medi, she's like, I'm going I'm to check it out. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, she's really good, man. I, I really like her. There's another gal I used to like to listen to also. Uh, she was from a group called Cateman's Call. Um, Derek Webb came from there. He's another one of my favorite male singers. And this woman, I forget her name. She had a whole other thing too. And I, I loved her her voice. There was a little more. It's, it's a little dated now because the style reminds me of back there. 90s or not 90s like early 2000s did Dems impeach Trump today I don't know I don't know damnation I don't know so I might not like that guy too much but I gotta be honest with you he they, they're gonna have a hard time with that that's gonna be very tricky trying to impeach that man for the reasons that they're trying to impeach him for it, they just don't have enough evidence for that it's I think it's just a bunch of hocus pocus anyway All right, I kind of like this where it's going, guys. What do you guys think? This new stuff is no good for me. Uh, I don't know. Zero evidence. That's right. I tend to listen to old music, Amar says. The new stuff is not good for me. Ah, uh, well, you know, Amar, sometimes you got to give a, they give things a chance. All we are saying, give peace a chance. No, not really. Not at all. But still. All right. Um, um, let's see. I'm going to give her, make her lips look a little fuller. Oh, my gosh. Uh, her hand is still too big, but feel free to ignore me again. I didn't I didn't read you the first time. Uh, the House passed the impeachment articles, but the Senate will never convict with such non evidence of a non high crime. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. That's the thing. It's clear what they're trying to do. It's all good. You're talking about this hand here, Mike? Yeah, I think you're right. Um, before I go any further, let me just adjust, adjust here. There. 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 Um, you know what I need to do? And some of it here. This could use a little more weight in some areas, but I'll have to look at that as I approach the end of it. We're almost running out of time. So now I got, now thanks a lot, Mike. Thanks for coming in here and making me second guess myself. Thanks a lot. No, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault, Mike, but it is. In a lot of ways it is. In other ways it's not, but in certain ways, yes. Um, well, let's switch to the better pencil here. This is a little sharper. I'm gonna sharpen it again. Uh, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Mike says, I'm here to make you the best. Jennifer H., drawing back that bow might cause a problem or two. No, no, it's energy. It's got an energy bow. That's the thing. That's how we're going to fix that problem. It's like, remember Dungeons and Dragons cartoon? That's kind of what it is like. too small now but I think it works 
And then, and by the way, by the way, by the way, Jennifer, it's fantasy. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It'll look good in the end. Don't worry about it. You know, this is a mystical element. You know, Mike says it's good. All right. Ba -ba -dum, bam, 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 bam. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Sequential rationalist is happy that I that I uh, added the fingernails. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, who is Chris Daughtry? Amar says Chris Daughtry is a singer uh, who was who got his start over in um, on uh, what's that show called American Idol. Well, he was didn't get his start there, but that's where he became popular. He also is a buddy of mine. Although, I don't always like to say that out loud because then it sounds like I'm name dropping. Because I'm, I really can't because we're not that close. But he's a buddy. Oh yeah, could I forget? Could I? How could I forget? Merry Christmas by Slade. And I wish it could be Christmas every day by Wizard, pub classics. I don't. I've never heard those. I, I, I'm sure I have, but not by those names. All right. Okay. Here we go. Ban out. Ban out. Ban out. Ban out. Ban out. Like making the sounds. Dirk Monger Daughtry is your buddy. Is he drawing? He just said on TV he is a comic artist. He has drawn. He's a, he's very close friends with Jim Lee. And he did a cover uh, for a Batman issue, I believe. Right around the time the movies came out. Uh, the BVS movies. He's a very big DC Comics fan. But yeah, he's, uh, I mean, are we really buddies? Sure. He's a friend of mine. I'm a, he's a friend. Of, I'm a friend of his. Let's put it that way. Am I, is he a friend of mine? Well, you know, it's up to him. I, I know him enough. We've broken bread together. That's, a, that's good enough for me. Not funny. I know one guy. Santa Claus goes straight to the ghetto typo. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, then you know Christmas has started. <laughs> All right. So, okay. 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 So what do you guys think? You think this is uh, worth a... Uh, I want to adjust the arc on this bow. I think this is worth a quick, a quick uh, auction. I don't know. Are we there yet? Should I wait? Just because I know some of you guys are busted. I don't want to pressure you guys. Tick tock. At ease, Michael. At ease. You 
have to do a background? No, I don't. Farmer Dan says, I'm friends with the guy who won the MVP for Japanese Major League Baseball a few years ago. That's like the only person I know who is slightly famous. That's awesome. That's awesome. But you know what? You know, it's... It's... it's uh. It's fun knowing people, I guess. But it doesn't mean anything unless it means something, I guess. I'm really big. Um, I decided that, like, one of my things I don't like to do is I don't like to meet people. I think I've told some of you guys this story. I met uh, Joe Madureira one time at a convention. And he was nice enough to me. I, I really shouldn't expect much else from him. But the experience was so flat. And, you know, I, I really... I really cherish one of the things I like about YouTube is that we kind of behave this way. Sometimes it took, you know, with some negative effects, but for the most part, you know, we, we can relate to each other like human beings. One of the downsides to conventions is that people sometimes act like, like they're, they're so great or, or, you know, you know, it's just, it it just doesn't feel that I, I don't, I don't feel like it's personal. And I thrive on that. I need the relationship. I need the experience to be personal. So, anyway, that's uh, it's important to me that if I'm going to meet someone, and I I got that chance to meet to meet Chris like that, but um, I love I love him. Uh, he's a good dude. Um, but you know. I should stop talking about that. But anyway, the point I'm making is, I mean, he's awesome. I was going to, well, it's funny when you have people's phone numbers, let's put it that way. But I never use it because I don't want to, I don't want to be that kind of person. I I don't want to, I would rather that person would call me, you know, because, and it's not because I'm like, oh, I'm expecting you to call me first. It's not that, it's that I don't want people who are, I want, I want a genuine interaction with someone. And uh, I feel like sometimes when you're dealing with people on that level that you can come across like you're just kind of harassing them or trying to take advantage of them. And I'd rather not do that. So that's something I've always stayed away from. And in that regard, that's how that is. You know. All right. So Mike just said goodbye. So that means he's on his way over to Jordan Quarter. I'll be there shortly. All right. So this is she's in water because I'm I didn't want to draw completely over the top here. You are the only famous person I'm friends with. Oh, Reed, I appreciate you. So if I ever get famous, my signature is terrible. <laughs> All right. What do you guys think? This is not too bad, right? It kind of worked out. I'm going to let it dry a little before a little more before I start erasing stuff, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think I can add a little more detail here. And uh, I don't have any erasers out right now, so I'll just do this here. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Did you ask him for the number or did he give it to you? He gave it to me, Stitchy. He gave it to me. Farmer Dan says, I like it. Fist Factor says, cool, man. Justin McClure says, hell yeah. AWeb says, not too shabby. Kuzmedi loves. Oh, Kuzmedi, I appreciate you. <sighs> Let me go ahead and sign this guy. Or gal. <laughs> I talk sometimes weird. <sighs> one more, one more Valkyrie for the books. Very excited about this. This is cool. Uh, I'm gonna adjust her hand. Her hand was a little dopey here. I like that. I like that. Rob says it's very sexy. Is that a sake racer? No, it's a, it's a drafting dry erase pad, they call it. Uh, don't want to pull a weld and, and forget to sign it. No, no, no. Don't do that. Why does he do that? I like welding a lot. He's a good kid. All right. Yeah, overall, overall.
wash, it looks good. Lots of good stuff. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. The drawing was a little more modeled, so it, it's a little weird, but her right hand is floating a bit. That's okay. That's all right, Amar. You're just OCD. It's okay. Uh, Valkyries, do, do you have? Valkyries, do you have? I have uh, one more. This was a little more fully developed one. I think I have this one available at some point. And uh, I need to sign this one, actually. There we go. All right. All right, kids. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. It's been a, over an hour of us drawing together. You guys were fantastic. Uh, for anyone interested in doing any commissions, you can contact me at thelabcomics at gmail.com. Actually, that's Andy's uh, email, thelabcomics at gmail.com. Um, and you can contact him. He'll get you squared away, and we can work something out. Um, I'm trying to fit in stuff so I can make some extra cash for the coming next coming months. Um, so if you're interested in anything like that, check it out. Uh, in the meantime, I will be uh, working on on Doom Kicker, moving along, making that trying to make that happen as quickly as possible. And don't forget to check uh, out check me out over on uh, on on Drawn and Quarter right now in the next next uh, couple minutes. Um, anyway, appreciate all you guys. You guys are fantastic. I got the best fans. I really do. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing some walking again soon. I haven't been walking lately. I got to, I get to see my doctor. She's going to tell me how fat I am tomorrow. I'll let you not, let you guys know how that goes. God bless you guys. Take it easy. Don't hurt yourselves. Uh, again, for those of you who may not see me again, have a merry, uh, very merry Christmas and a happy new year. For those of you who will see me again, I love you. Y'all be good now. You here? Later. <laughs>